So my message to anybody that's thinking about moving to Ghana, not even just Ghana, any part of Africa, not even just Africa, any part of the world that they're not somewhere that they're not used to, do your research, go and travel the place. Because believe you me, I did not think that within the space of two months of me coming, coming here and visiting the place was I moving here. Yeah, it's finished. Let me put it here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Um, I'm coming your way again with this beautiful interview with a beautiful lady from UK, but now living in Ghana. <laughs> okay, so mind you, my videos are not only about Asebu, you no know, buying land in Asebu, or uh, building in Asebu, or clearing your land, or whatever that we have to do on the Asebu beautiful land. Aside this, I also travel. Yes, I travel with friends. You know, we leave our comfort zone, go to, you know, another destination, experience the lifestyle over there. You know, drink something, eat something, or learn a different lifestyle of other people here in Ghana. So today, uh, we took a trip to the western region of Ghana, specifically Butre, so uh we slept in a tent me her and some other friends so i was like hey uh she has a beautiful story that she want to share why she's in ghana why she's living in ghana why are you laughing <laughs> <laughs> so then hey, i said let's let's get on the mic get on the set and talk about you being in ghana so tell us your name tell us where you're from in the west so that other people who are watching can relate to Okay, so originally I'm UK resident, um, born and raised in Birmingham. For those who know that area, big up Birmingham. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, lived there all my life, never really lived anywhere else, always just stayed in that area, never moved outside the area, never left the country, nothing. I, I see you to be one of the younger people who have moved to Ghana. Sometimes I feel like there are so much out there in the West. Why do you leave all that, you know, the Africa that most of us don't want to come? When I say us, I want to add myself because most of the youth in the West, they don't see Africa to be like, you know, comparing Africa and where they are. What makes you or what made you leave the, the, the UK to Ghana? So I, be, I went to Nigeria like 10 years ago and I fell in love with just the, the freeness of the land, the beautiful land the the trees you know they grow fruit they grow veg the people it's it's nice seeing our own culture and our own people that look like us in england you don't see that very often you know the culture's kind of washed out it's not the same anymore so when i came i just fell in love with the peace the vibe and i said yeah okay this is a nice place never ever thought that i would end up living in ghana yeah. no it was, at that time it was never anything i just said yeah i'll come back but my mom she's been coming for like six or seven years before she actually moved here and then last year she moved here so i had actually been to ghana before the, the first time i came was last year um to visit and as soon as i came i was like i'm not going back <laughs> i went back packed my stuff and came straight back i think i left for two months and came back and i've been back ever since wow so after two months you just moved to ghana that there might be yeah. something specific that 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 drew your attention to ghana maybe the people i don't know it's a combination of everything it's, it's a combination of the people the culture the way of life the fact that people have nothing over here like they not to say they don't have nothing but what we're used to in um places like england america everything's fast paced everything's so convenient you know there's always help from the government here it's more slow paced they don't have much but they're the most happiest people and the most grateful is people ever and that's the kind of people that i want to live around beautiful i know i love to hear that when the youth when i say the youth like ourselves speak positive about africa because most often you watch youtube or you listen to the younger people and they make some comments that tells you that hey they even don't want to live in africa and thank you very much for saying 
you know something positive yeah, well, about that's that's for the small-minded people you know there's people that have never been to africa yeah. and would love to come here there's people that have been here and didn't want to go back home you know so it's only the small-minded people that can't see past the stigma the stereotype the all the all the negative that you see on tv yes it happens mm -hmm. but that's not what Ghana is about that's not what Africa is about there's so many beautiful places in Africa that I can't wait to travel not just being in Ghana I can't wait to see the rest of the world so it's only for the small-minded people <laughs> so when you came I mean I think you had to leave your your job to come here yeah how was it like living in do you work yeah I worked in residential care for like six or seven years okay so by the time I came here, COVID was big thing in the UK. I was tired of my job. I felt unappreciated. I'm a type of person that likes to wake up and have a positive surrounding. Yeah. Now look at just where we're sitting. Waking up to this every single day here in the ocean, having the good sun, having coconuts and stuff on the trees. Like this gives you positive energy. So when I was moving here, it made me like my decision easy just mm -hmm. to quit my job and come i tried to have no ties that was keeping me from coming here mm -hmm. no ties at all how is life in ghana so far are you working are you thinking of working are you thinking of setting up a business how is the lifestyle here and what have you done so far so it's when i was in the uk i was focusing on um like my makeup on like a hobby doing it as a hobby and then i realized that like okay maybe i want to take this a bit further but the thing over there it's so hard to just start something small and be successful it's because there's so much competition it's a, like i said it's a fast-paced place but over here if you are a good tradesman tradeswoman good at your craft people appreciate you you know there's no big big corporations over here everyone is making money so if you're good at what you're doing you will make money so i decided to just bring my makeup i do massage therapy um i do um eyelash extensions things like that um, manicure pedicure so the goal is to open um like a house bar here okay. because there's not many around that give good quality you know one-to-one -one care i noticed that we don't take time out here to really focus on our bodies the way we should and the way our mental health is so if i can help push that a bit better then my job is done <laughs> it's not about the money yes. <laughs> and then you had conversations with your friends what was the what was the topic like i mean what were the what what were the comments from them like hey so you left you moved to ghana yeah i, mean, I got i got i got that a lot oh they were they were like go ahead like i want you to go over there have a nice time I was the one that had plenty concerns like uh, maybe I won't enjoy it maybe I feel a bit lonely and they were so positive like just go you will enjoy it because yeah. my mom my, my mom and my dad and my kids are here okay. so it was just left for me to come over mm -hmm. so what am I waiting for might as well just go and I came and I loved it yeah. so when I actually told them that I wasn't coming back they were like okay and I was actually surprised <laughs> yeah. it's like they didn't care I was like, what do you mean you don't care? <laughs> like, you should, I'm leaving. You should care. Yeah. But no, but they're very positive. I talk to them all the time. They miss me, but, you know, they want yeah. the best of me. Yeah. You see the life that I'm living now. Yeah. So. so my message to anybody that's thinking about moving to Ghana, not even just Ghana, any part of Africa, not even just Africa, any part of the world that they're not somewhere that they're not used to, do your research. Go and travel the place. Because believe you me, I did not think that within the space of two months of me coming coming here and visiting the place was I moving here. Okay, granted, it made it easier for me because my parents were moving here. But do your research. Go out there and see what life is. And it will surprise you. And you will fall in love with everything that the world has to offer. So just spread your wings and fly. Find friends. You know, talk to them go out and explore the world you don't know if you're just gonna sit at home and be scared to you know go live your dream that's my advice all right so that's a beautiful one from nisha uh, nisha is from the uk but she's now living in ghana and uh, she sent a beautiful message to all of you watching us right now and she's she's already told us the reason why she left the uk to be 
on the motherland and she's been hanging around with me and my friends mm -hmm. and everybody and i think that is one other way of helping you you know yeah learn the culture yeah. and relax with it yeah. and everything right yeah it's that's that's the main important thing like when you go abroad you have to find good friends that you can trust yeah. because if you're by yourself you will shy away from learning new things you'll shy away from asking questions you'll shy away from making mistakes you know so that's the most important thing is finding the people that you can trust that will guide you through it's not easy yeah without you guys it was, oh god <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, right? no it's not yeah. it's been tough it's been tough yes sometimes i've wanted to go home but yeah. now i'm like i'm here for a reason i'm gonna conquer every fear that i have yeah. and i'm gonna love being here i've almost been here one year and that one year has gone so quick one year wow before you know it'll be 10 years yeah <laughs> and then you you might even find um a Ghanaian, nice. Ghanaian, <laughs> eligible bachelor. If you're watching, eligible bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you very much for checking us.